Hello everyone. In this video, I will show you how to use dynamic links library in Excel VBA. There are some similar videos on YouTube, but most of them are based on Windows 32 based system because most of the current PC are using 64 bit OS, uh, so I will focus on, on this platform. First, take a look at my uh, laptop's system information a 64 bit operating system, and I use Visual Studio Express for desktop to create DLL. Mm, are you you can you can use other platforms such as Visual Studio 2008, etc. And uh, I use Office 2010. Next, uh, all the steps I've I've followed uh, Jonathan the web page. So if you can't understand uh, from my videos, you can refer back to his uh, web page. There's a lot of details details steps by steps here okay so next next uh, as an example i use a square function to demonstrate first is a, this is a square c++ and the definition fire okay that's create a dll first video studio express for desktop new project C++ Win32 Win32 project Re rename that to square DLL and uh, pay attention to the location so you you could find the your project here I use the C disk temporary okay Next, DLL, empty project, finish. In the project explorer, the source file, right click, add new item, C++, C++ file, you could rename that to square. Where mine add type the code here double underscore t std call square double x return x multiple by pointer x okay so the first line here is fixed format uh, this is the functions return type and uh, and uh, here you can change the function you can replace your own your your own customer function okay then we add a new item the definition definition fire we rename to d fine daf okay add click type the code here library square exports square for Excel equals square here the original function name is square and we use square for Excel when we call this function in Excel so it, it makes more clear and more un uh, you, you could more un understand that okay Next, we build the solution. Succeeded. Okay. Okay. We already have DRL, but the platform is the is uh, 30, 32 bit. So we have to change the properties. 
uh, right click properties here you can see the platform is active win 32 first configuration manager we change this to 64 okay 60, 64 okay so it changed to 64 close and uh, linker input we have to assign the definition file here module definition file the file Div. Make sure this name is same to the name here we created. Okay, and we rebuild that solution. Okay, one succeeded. Here we already created a DLL file, so let's go back to the project here temp square dll x64 click debug debug square dll dll okay you already have this file then we create a new excel called square DLL demo open that and uh, developer Visual Studio insert module we copy the code here So there's no need for the, all the codes, just this line. Okay, copy, paste, private declare function. This keyword is for 64 bit platform. If you use if you are using a 32, you could you could delete this keywords. Okay, so we have to change the location, find the location where, where it is. Here. So we copy the location. And you remember the name is square dll dot dll. Okay. Here. Location. And uh, this is the name. Remember, we said the uh, square for Excel, right? So back here, if I uh, use four, so the name is square for Excel here. Enter, right? So it works. Okay. Uh.